And it happens to also be Sober October. It is Sober October, one of my favorite parts of the year because I get to kind of calm down and chill out with my drug and alcohol in, you know, um, consumption and basically get to be a little bit proper, be a little bit correct, be a little bit clean and hopefully come out of the other side a lot more stronger, a lot skinnier and a way more healthier mind state. And I'm pumped, 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 pumped for this year's Sober October. My plan overall for what I'm doing this time is that I'm obviously adopting what the guys are doing on the Joe Rogan podcast, which is Tom Segura, Ari Shafir, and Burt Chrysler. They are obviously doing the challenge um, by doing it, you know, um, what they're doing to work out. Also, they're going to try and burn 500 calories per day and they'll work out every single day. And then, but the other thing they haven't done is give up something, which I'm going to give up. So the first thing to go is obviously Instagram usage. So I'm not going to be uploading or posting on my Instagram for the entirety of my sober October. I've committed to checking Twitter one at one um, hour per day because I have to kind of check for the news I have to do on this podcast, unfortunately. But if I wanted if I wanted to, my overall goal would be to completely avoid it. But I need to have one source of place where I can kind of go and check out the news I need to kind of upload on here. So that's obviously something I have to do. And then I'm going to commit to doing an hour of reading a day. And also do an hour of Duolingo a day. And that's my kind of overall commitment I'm doing. So I'm just still doing the working out, still doing the burning of 500 calories per day. Um, I'm sticking to a diet, which obviously is good too. So I'm getting rid of all the junk food. I'm also intermittent fasting, which is kind of another thing I'll add on to it. But that's essentially the things that I'm trying to do. 500 calories per day, um, working out once per day. Um, What's that I say? Um, sticking to my diet at the moment, which is basically not eating shitty food, intermittent fasting, which I'm doing at the moment, a 16 8 in terms of 16 hour fasting, 8 hour window of eating, and then the no, oh, sorry, 18 hour window of fasting, um, 6 hour window of eating, and then the other thing is reading, and of course, a Duolingo. So, those are the things I'm going to be running through. So, I'm really excited to kind of get that going for the next month or so. And I'm hoping by the end of the month, not actually hoping, my intention for the end of the month is to make sure that I'm under at least under at least under 240 at least under 240 that's the obviously main goal but if i can get down to lower than that i'll be absolutely over the moon but that'll be my kind of my least goal at the moment because now i think i'm like 275 i weighed myself at the start of the month i was like god damn i'm 275 pounds i i, I guess i don't I, maybe i don't look it at, or maybe I, in my head i don't think i look it but shit man um my peak 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 at the time where i was kind of really going for it was 200 no i got down to 187 that was my lowest i could i, could, I got down to i managed but then i maintained 220 200 pounds to 220 for a while but then obviously over the pandemic i just flipping ballooned up kind of got lazy and didn't really stick on my stings and just you know loads of just basically basically living a sedentary lifestyle mostly the reason why i ended up weighing that way i did because i think even before then i still think i was eating crap but i kind of offset the crap eating by you know at the time i was working in central london and i live not in central london and it took me let's say it took me an hour and a half to get to work on my bike so i'd be i'd be riding basically 13 miles maybe a marathon yeah it was a marathon per day i was riding back and forth to work on my pedal bike sometimes it'll break and it'll die but for the most part i was riding back and forth all the time um a marathon every single day i was working out here and there so even if i did indulge in some five guys or shake shack or i went and had some chicken wings it didn't really matter because i was legitimately sweating and perspirating so much every single day but when the pandemic happened and then suddenly we were all sedentary and the one reason you know and also i was going through a bit of a tough time not having a job and stuff like i wasn't in the greatest of space and kind of going out in terms of working out and i didn't really push for it and then once i didn't push for it and i started ordering ubers and stuff twice in the week that's when i knew things were gonna go bad i mean when you start ordering uber eats two times in the week you're like oh shit it's not gonna go good for me so i'm happy that i'm finally back on that and kind of getting that corrected and then hopefully by the end of the month, my intention is not hope my intention is at the end of the month i'll be under 240 and i'll look absolutely amazing just imagine if i get under 200 in a month imagine losing 70 pounds in a month that's flipping insane but it is possible i know people have done crazy things maybe they've lost up to 40 but if i end up losing 70 pounds in a month and i go down to 200 that'll be absolutely wild but you know stranger things have happened so let's see well Guan. 